Hello, this is Scott Thorley with AMS, and this video is to show how the WorldPack interface works to allow you to look up and order parts from Protractor through WorldPack. First, I want to point out a couple things. I already have speed dial up and running. Notice that I do have a red dot in the lower right hand corner that says shop software. As you'll see in a minute, that will turn green when Protractor connects. But I also want to show under the view tab, under preferences, there are a couple settings here that we need to make sure are correct. For shop software, it should be set up for WCAP, enabled, and the port is 17943. Also, the export order button action should be set to export. Okay, so with those settings, I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. On this ticket, I have a 2005 Honda Accord, and I'm going to look up an air filter, a cabin air filter, and a water pump. As long as I don't have an individual line selected, it's going to walk me through all three of these parts and labor. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the catalog lookup. First thing it's looking up is the air filter labor. I'm going to select that, click apply. Now it's going to go out to WorldPack. It's going to transfer over the vehicle information. And I'm going to go ahead and select the air filter. And I'm going to say price. And it's going to give me a couple options. In this case, it's showing me the air filter for the 3.5 liter engine that I have. And I'm going to go ahead and say export. Now that's going to bring me back to the protractor screen with that part uh, identified and applied uh, to this line. I'm going to click apply and that's going to go ahead and put that part on the ticket. Next, I'm going to do the cabin air filter labor. Select that. Now back to world pack for the cabin air filter part. And now it's it's going ahead and asking me for this again. And then it takes me directly to the cabin air filter. I'm going to select that and say price. And now I've got a number of different options. And I can find the one that I want. And I'm going to click on the plus sign here. And that is also going to add that part to my order. So now I have the cabin air filter. I'm going to apply that. Now I'm looking up the water pump labor. Click apply, and it's going to ask me for the engine again. We're working on that, so it's not going to ask you that uh, more than once. And now I'm going to select the water pump, price that, select the one I want, and apply. Now I've looked up the labor and all three parts on my system. If I go to the purchases tab, so you notice I, it shows all three of the parts that I ordered from WorldPack including approximately when they'd be dispatched by. I'm going to go up and click on place order. I can choose to remove one of the parts now if I wanted to. You have to have a message uh, for WorldPack. And now it's going to pop up the WorldPack screen and it's going to bring up my order. And it's going to show the three parts. Again, I could remove one of the parts now if I wanted to, or I can click on checkout, submit, now that order has been received and it will be processed, I go ahead and minimize this. Go ahead and leave speed pack, or World Pack speed dial open. Um, and those three parts now have jumped to the order confirmed. Now, back on the ticket, we just need to wait till those parts come in and we can receive them. And that's how the World Pack part lookup works in Protractor. Thank you.